What's up, I like scary. We are back. I hope you all have an amazing day. I'm having an amazing day. It feels great to be a horror fan. So y'all got a few horror updates that we got today. Starting off with Bill Skarsgård possibly will be coming to the Welcome to Dirty TV series that will premiere um, on HBO Max. Also, Radio Silence not being attached to Scream 7 and possibly getting new writers and directors and the new project they will be tackling. Also, the Conjuring Universe will be getting a TV series that will be going to HBO Max. Let's get into it, you all. Before we get started, definitely smash the like button because it definitely helps. So to start off everything, we find out, we get an article from Bloody Disgusting saying the Conjuring television series in the works at HBO Max. The Conjuring universe is expanding beyond the big screen with Warner Bros. Discovery today announcing that a television series is in the works for the Max streaming service. Peter Safran is developing a drama series based on New Line Cinema's film franchise with Warner Bros. Television. Deadline reports this afternoon. The series is set to continue the story established in the feature films, James Wan Atomic Monsters Productions and Peter Safran's, with Safran's company will produce the franchise's very first small screen project in association with WBTV. Okay, so we get news basically that the Conjurer's going to get a TV series. And I've always said this. I feel like it's, they have no choice but to expand the Conjuring universe, you know, due to them having Valak, the Crooked Man, and just so much more. So much to be told with the Warrens. And we see that James Wan will be on this project with Atomic Monster Productions. So I am so excited. When I seen this, I'm like, holy shit. If you guys follow the channel, you know I'm a big Conjuring Universe fan. Bro, I cannot wait, literally. So are you guys ready to basically see this, man? The Warrens, you know, Patrick Wilson, and just being on the big screen as a TV series with The Conjuring. I am so excited. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of TV series coming out here. You know, that's um, attached to horror, like Welcome to Dairy, the Camp Crystal Lake TV series. Um, I, I got to see how this falls in play because I don't want you to take too many of our high-end films out the cinema. So, um, But I'm excited, especially for Conjuring. It feels like it fits the TV series uh, world. Um, also, jumping into another, you know, update for TV series, we're going to be talking about Bill Skarsgård possibly will be in Welcome to Dairy. From what we hear, also it's coming out um, next year, 2024 in May. You guys, from my understanding, I cannot wait for this TV series. Also, saying that this, you guys. So, according to Jeff Snyder's over at the Hot Mike podcast, Bill Skarsgård is currently in talks to return as Pennywise, the clown in the Welcome to Dairy series, which will be made for HBO Max. Here's what Snyder had to say on that matter. I've heard that Bill Skarsgård is in fact going to be back as Pennywise in this series despite his claims to the contrary. I've heard that he's working on a deal to come back. So you all, I mean, we did hear that Bill Skarsgård will not, you know, possibly be, um, will not possibly be coming to the Welcome to Dairy TV series. But I mean, from what Jeff Snyder said over at Hot Mike Podcast that he's decided that he will be on, which I'm very excited because I'm not going to lie, I was kind of scratching my head if Bill want to return as Pennywise because he does such a great job. You all know I picked that uh, Pennywise, that version of Pennywise over Tim Curry because he does he does such a great job as Pennywise, in my opinion. He he killed it. So, yeah, fingers crossed. I mean, I'm not taking anything away from uh, Jeff Snyder, but he said that uh, Bill will be in the Welcome to Dairy TV series, so we shall see. Got me hype. And last but not least, some more some more Scream 7 updates. Basically, this is not too good of news. Scream 6 directors, Matt Bettinelli, Tyler Gillette, are staying in the horror business with their next project, an untitled monster thriller, Universal Pictures. According to Deadline, Bettinelli and Gillette will direct the feature from a script by Stephen Shields and Guy Busey. And Gillette will also produce with Chad Villela, through the trio's production company, Radio Silence. So basically, you all, they are telling us in a nice way, in my opinion, that unfortunately, Radio Silence will be walking away from screen. Um, I know a lot of us are probably upset about this, but I'm kind of happy for them because that's big, universal, you know, down to the universal uh, monster and creatures world. 
So I can't wait to say what they do. They didn't even kind of talk too much about it. We just know it's Universal. It's a project. And they're definitely going to prioritize that because they did Scream 5 and they just did Scream 6, which is performing so well in the box office. But, yes, yeah, sadly, it sounded like it is really over, um, which I completely understand. But at the same time, I'm like, damn, with Scream 6 performing so well, you would think they want to go on Scream 7. But maybe they got fatigued and kind of wanted to pull away from it. I just can't wait to see who decides to pick this up if we even get someone that wants to pick up this. Uh, I know there's people out there want to do stuff with Scream because it's a great franchise, but you know you got to go off of Radio Silas' story with Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega. Um, yeah, and it's kind of sounded like you guys, we were all aiming to get Scream 7 soon. It, it sounded like we might have to wait some time. You know, It, it sounds like we're going to have to wait because they're doing their project and they're doing you know, Universal, so Paramount's going to have to figure out what they're going to do. Um, maybe they can bring Sidney Prescott on and everything, kind of work something out. Also, with all this time for them to think, with Radio Silence pulling out, I don't know. But it sounds like, you guys, that they're moving forward from Scream, and we will have to wait for Scream 7. So, yeah, you all. Um, it's crazy. I cannot believe it because they did such a great job. But I definitely understand because you got to elevate. And to me, digging into the Universal Monster and Creature World is definitely elevating. But, yeah, man, comment down below what you all think about Radio Silence pulling away from Scream 7 and kind of going with another project. Comment down below about everything we talked about. And, yeah, you all, I want you all to hit me up on my social media. I like Scary on Instagram. I like Scary underscore on TikTok, Brandon on Facebook, and I like Scary on Twitter. Right there where to subscribe. Next week, could join and become a member of the channel. And, yeah, you all, watch some horror movies. Stay scary out there. I love you all. Peace.